Woo! What's going on, guys? Orm Swarm coming at you guys from Grand Bend. Uh, just doing a little jaunt here, taking a break uh, with the family, doing my thing, man. Um, thinking about some fantasy football, though. Uh, wish I had someone to talk to. You know what I mean? There's no one really to talk to around here, man. You know what I mean? I got my wife. I got my kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look who it is. Oh, hey, man. Hey, how's What's it going, going on, brother? Buddy? How's it going, how man? Doing, man? Look who it is, man. What are just, you doing here? Yo, man, I'm here down with the family. What are you doing I'm down here, bro? the sunset here. You're just uh, hanging out, playing some football on the beach. Really? Yeah, what's going I was on? Just, I was just talking to people saying, hey, man, I'm looking for uh, someone to talk to about some fantasy football. I want to do... You know fantasy I mean? football? Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you mentioned that. I just wrote down my uh, my 6 through 10 running backs there. I was just hanging out there. Get out of here. I thought I'd write them down, just jot them down because the season's coming. And uh, No way. You know, I'm getting excited. I'm getting real excited for it. How oh, you? my God, bro. I got something in my pocket right now. Dude. I got a little something right. in my pocket. Yeah. Well, bud. Let's go well, shoot the shit somewhere. Let's go do it. Here. All right. We'll discuss this. We'll go through it. Yeah, guys. Oh, guys. Sunset, Can you believe Yeah, I didn't really catch the sunset. I oh. missed it. I missed it. All right. Yeah, I was just doing some push-ups over here. And, uh, push ups Oh, yeah, God. I need to do man. a couple of those, man, oh, one God. day. Oh, one day. There we go, man. Yeah, it's nice this time of year. And uh, we only got a few weeks till, till drafting starts for the... Uh, fantasy football so oh i know you're man jot a few names down i don't know nothing yeah i got a couple names you know what i mean i mean that i won uh, i won your league last year I you thought, did you know? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> forgot. oh yeah you that's right uh, i forgot i never oh right. damn you man you know what i mean I, I yeah I, mean, I don't know but i beat somebody in the playoffs in another league though you know who that was the, oh yeah you remember yeah, who it was i think i remember was that, a, was that us in the final <laughs> yeah that was you brother all right that was you well, let's have a seat man just, we'll, well okay how are we gonna do let's set this up let's set it up buddy get the okay. beach in the background we'll go like this want to get the beach in the background beautiful okay well that's good all right oh, oh there it goes hey there it goes there it goes this is what this is why technical difficulties difficulty here, difficulties uh yeah. we're gonna set this up like this i don't know hey, we got problems over here guys we got problems there you go we're good you're good. You got problems? Yeah, your show, buddy. You do it up. Okay, well, we're going to Ball's in to... your court, buddy. Ball's in my court. So I'm going what here? You're what going... am I doing? Well, so what are you going to do? Six through ten? We'll start from number, from number six. How about that? Six through ten. Let's kind of do... Let's try to do this. We'll try to do... Keep a social distance here? Yeah, but we're going to try and keep a social distance. All right. I'll do me, then... All right. I got it. I got you. Okay. All right. So kind of jacked up. It's yeah. kind of jacked up. It's kind of jacked to... up. But we'll... We got a nice view anyway. Hello. Can you see the ball? We'll flip it back and forth. I know, I happen to write down a few things. Oh, you've been writing down names too, eh? A few things. Yeah. You know what, though? We'll see. Ball's going to fly everywhere. So, so top five, I'm thinking right away, you know, especially if you're going to PPR format, you got to go yeah. in any order. You can go McCaffrey, Barkley, Kamara, Zeke, and Cook. 100%. I mean, in any order yeah. you want to go, I think that's that's your top five. Yeah, you're not going to really switch. Yeah, you're going to switch some guys around, maybe like a McCaffrey or a Barkley, right? Like, right. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, man, you, after those that, are your five guys. After that, man, hey, man, it's all she wrote. It's who all knows, she wrote. Who knows so, what we can do? So let's start with you. We'll start, we'll with, start you. with me? Yeah. Oh, oh you okay. want to start with me? I want you to because you're the guest. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'll, start, I'll start with me. Ran into you, you know what I mean? It's just by luck, you know what I mean? All right, let's, let's do that. Okay, so at number six, I was, I was thinking about it. I'm going to go Miles Sanders from Philly. Right. I think I'm nice. going to go, I'm not going to tell you what I think he's going to do this year in terms of stats for the whole season. I'm going to okay. go more of a fantasy approach and do what I think uh, for consistency, what he's going to do week to week in a fantasy half point PPR, full point PPR format. I'm going to for say sure. this guy, Miles Sanders, will get you probably 15 to 20 a week. I think he's going to be consistent. He's good for a touchdown or two. There's nobody else there right now. And it, I just think this, this guy's going to get some big numbers this year. I think he's... Uh, it's going to go up. His, uh, his his numbers are going to go up this year. I oh, think, yeah, I, for sure, I, man, especially with the Carson Wentz, the full, a fully healthy Car uh, Carson Wentz there, man. He should really help out that uh, the running game, open it up, right? Right. I, I, that, that's my number six. Okay, brother. I, I like yeah, it, man. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like that a lot, man. His phone's a little bit jacked and up. And, nice and Jordan Howard's not there. You got no, you know, I think yeah. he's the guy. I think. Jordan Howard, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's off to Miami. He's off to Miami. Um, my number six guy, ball's in my court, uh... I'm gonna go Kenyon. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, 
This is why the, the, the wind's picking up. The wind's picking up. The wind's up. picking it's gonna up. It's going to be sloppy, <laughs> but we don't care. That's Down how we do it. <laughs> Down by the river. <laughs> My guy's going to be Kenyon Drake from the Arizona Cardinals, man. This was a kid that was in Miami for a few years. Didn't do much. Um, pretty much had a bad team over there, right? So when he went off to Arizona, got traded to or whatever, man, he found his niche in Arizona. Went off after being traded. And then uh, a full season with this kid, man, and, and that offense with DeAndre Hopkins added to it and a healthy um, Kyler Murray who should be good for the whole year. Still got fits over there, man. He's going to add to that running game. This kid catches the ball. This kid runs well. So, I, I, me, I'm saying 1,200 plus yards, 10 plus touchdowns, probably 60 catches, and maybe 500 yards with five to 10 touchdowns through the air, man. He should do really well in that offense in a full 16 game season. So, that's what I got at my number six. So, hey, oh. I like him over there. I had him in your league last year. I actually drafted him when he played for Miami, and once he got traded to Arizona. Yeah. He was absolutely killing it in the playoffs for me, and I never started him because I had two other running backs that I always start over him, but I should have started him. So that's that's a nice pick. Right that's there. why that's why Fanny's is full of woulda, coulda, shouldas, buddy. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> and, uh, it sucks, I know. Yeah, it, it, I like that pick. I like, but at Number seven, we go Aaron Jones. Boom, balls in say, your court. Balls in my court. I'm going to say Aaron Jones for the... You got that? Can you see that in the light here? There's you see that? NFC from, ball here. Sounds if you're lucky, and... Uh, I like him. I like Aaron Jones for my number seven. For sure, man. That's a good pick right there, brother. That's Ball, a good pick. Balls in your, oh. balls in your court. <laughs> we got to work on this stand. We got to work on this stand. This yeah. stand's kind of jacked up. There you go. New stand, guys. Well, my number seven is going to be a little different, man. I'm going to go Joe Mixon from the Cincinnati Bengals, man. This guy was crazy efficient last year, even with a pretty shoddy O line. Not good over there, man. Their O line needs a lot of work, but they added they added some stuff. Uh, to that team, they added T. Higgins. They, had, they they drafted the best quarterback in the draft, and Joe Burrow's out of they LSU. They drafted a quarterback, eh? Hey? Yeah, man, that. they did, man. And so he's gonna really he's gonna be looking for that kid in the passing game as well. And um, AJ Green should help him out. So and there's a whole plethora of, of of young weapons in Cincinnati that, that should open up the holes uh, for Joe Mixon because you need a lot of help from other areas, right? So I'm predicting the other guy for 1,200 plus yards, probably 12 plus touchdowns on the ground. I'm going to say 50 catches and probably 400 yards through the air with four to five touchdowns, man. That, that, that's my guy. I, I really like Joe. He just needs to keep himself out of trouble. Well, that's it. Yeah, so For sure. Uh, number eight to you, brother. The ball, I'm going to hand the ball over to you. We're going to try to do this a little bit easier. Okay, <laughs> We're now, handing balls now hand over. Ball, hand the ball. Yeah. Hand it over. I got it. And hopefully... Uh, the landing's not very good on you, bro. <laughs> let's go this way. Okay, hopefully... This guy here, my number eight pick. I'm going to go with Josh Jacobs for not L.A., but for Vegas, the Vegas Raiders. Ooh, now. yeah, there we and, go, there uh, we this, go. If this kid stays healthy, this guy, consistency. I mean, for fantasy points a week, I'm thinking, you know, he can definitely get you 20, 30, whatever. He's, he, he, there's no other threat there. I, who do they got? Who's the other Where? guy there? In, oh, uh, uh, not Oakland, uh, Vegas. In Vegas, uh, they got Jalen Richards. Jalen Richards. is, is, is their I, second guy. Yeah, He's a, He's just like a third, I just got, uh, third guy. This guy's going to get a lot of work, and I like this guy at number eight. Uh, for consistency, fantasy-wise, uh, Josh Jacobs, if he stays healthy, he's the guy. He's my number eight. That's nice, man. Favorite, nice, right? nice, nice. I like that one, man. I like that one. And the ball over. Bam, go. I got the Boom. ball. Got the ball. My number eight's going to be Aaron Jones, man. Uh, this was a guy that was a big sleeper last year. Turned it on. Um, barely rushed over 1,000 yards last year, but he got a boatload of touchdowns over the 16 on the ground a couple in the air uh i think he i think he might have had 20 touchdowns total um but he's a top 10 running back in my eyes for fun um the new regime finally got gave him a chance uh and when i say new regime i mean matt lafleur and company those guys finally gave him a chance last year and he surpassed everything that they were looking for so this is a guy that i really like he turned it on last year i actually had him at jonathan's league last year right did you yeah he was actually my keeper Aaron Jones. He, Aaron Jones in his yeah. league, yeah. Nice. But nah. And he did really he did extremely well for me. Um so I'm expecting about eleven hundred yards on the ground, thirteen plus touchdowns again on the ground, over fifty catches and probably five hundred yards and three to five touchdowns through the air. So expect big things for Aaron Jones, man. Great pick. Had him yeah, had him man. on ahead of you, but yeah, consistent. I think Yeah, for sure. He's very consistent now. Balls in my court. Balls okay, in your here, court, buddy. Here we go. Um Four. can't deny this guy's uh <laughs> Can't can't deny this guy's production over the last couple of years. Derrick Henry, number nine. Have yep. to go with this 
have to go with this guy. He's a beast. Breaking tackles, just a beast. PPR, he doesn't catch a lot of balls, but I don't see anybody else being a threat to him on that team to take away carries. Or, no. You know, so this guy, week to week, if he can stay healthy, obviously that's the name of the game in football, if they can stay healthy. But if this guy, he, I don't think you can go wrong with this guy picking him. I think he could even be ranked higher, but I had to throw him in my 6 to 10 for sure. I got him at number 9. I like him there. Uh, a lot of touchdowns coming out of this guy, I think. Oh, yeah, 100%, and, uh, man. He's a beast. So. He's a beast, bro. That's he's my, a beast. That's my number 9. Nice. There you go. Okay, my number nine. Balls at my court again. I'm running away with Ball, papers balls. again. There you go. There it is. <laughs> running away with papers again. Ah, nice. A little bit of a breeze out here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of flip flopped this one. I wasn't too sure. I had, um, at first, I had Nick Chubb at nine, but I'm going to change this, man, oh. to the kid, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, a little mini rocket kid, man. Oh, the kid was an good. absolute beast at LSU last year. Um, did it all. Caught the ball, ran the ball well, scored a boatload of touchdowns again, like I said about a bunch of other guys too. But what an offense to be drafted in at, at, at Kansas City. This was a personal pick by Patrick Mahomes. He literally picked this guy himself because I remember seeing the draft. Wow. And uh, Is he? Andy Reid was like, when he was talking to him, he was like, Patty fucking picked him. They're, they're, picture. they're paying him a lot of money and letting him make picks now. That's awesome, That's bro. It, he, it, he's, he's got the world by the gonads, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Patrick Mahomes good, good is him, the man. guy. Is the guy. So he was a personal pick, and he wanted Hilaire. This kid, like I said, lost it at uh, at LSU. Just great all-purpose back, um, and just what a great offense to be drafted in, man. They got the best offense in the world, so that's awesome. He's gonna be surrounded by a bunch of guys, and he's got one. Of the, he's got the best quarterback in the NFL today. So I'm expecting about 1,200 yards on the ground, eight to ten touchdowns, over 55 catches, and probably. 500, 550 yards receiving and five touchdowns. Wow. I got this kid going off, man. So he's my number nine guy. They liked him. They liked him before Swift. So well, boom. they see something yep. there. And... Yeah, they liked him before Swift. But, hey, Swift is better, by the way. Eh? <laughs> we'll talk about him a we'll little bit later. later. Uh, also, I had a bit of a chub for chub last year. Woo! But <laughs> I used my keeper last year. And this guy here that I got next on my list at number 10 actually outperformed chub. Yeah. And that would be a guy by the name of Austin Eckler. Ooh. I think he's the only guy in L.A. right now. Even when Gordon came back last year, he was still putting up big points. I started him every week. He he was my number one guy. He's just PPR, obviously, catches the ball. He does a lot. He runs it well. Hopefully, he can keep up that production this year. I know he has a new uh, quarterback there, Tyrod Taylor, yep. coming in. So, I think, th I think though, he'll still... Uh, He'll still be productive and he'll still be consistent there. And, oh yeah, uh, man, he'll catch a lot of balls. He'll catch a lot of balls. I, I, yeah, I like him. I like him at ten. That's my guy. Nice so. man, nice, nice, nice. Little Austin Eckler for you. Little there you Austin go. Eckler. Okay, my number ten. Um, like I said, I flip flopped this one around with uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire and Nick Chubb is going to be my number ten guy. Uh, he's a Cleveland Brown. Sorry, uh, sorry about that, but that's what he is. Uh, but this is a kid that was second in rushing to uh, only Derrick Henry last year. Uh, he, had, he had over 1,400 yards, almost 1,500 yards on the ground. So this kid this kid gets it done. He's got Kareem Hunt peeking over his shoulder, but I, I really don't think he's that much of a threat, Hunt, because this kid's the real deal. So I just really like him. to, And they bolstered that old line for him too, man. They they built around Baker, and, they, and they're building around Chubb. So th th this kid's going to succeed, and he's going to be one of the best backs in the league. So I got him at number 10, man, as a Cleveland Brown. Bang. Boom. Okay, now Not now we'll do a couple sleepers. So Justin, if you want to go, bro, and you want to name your sleepers or, or what? Yeah, okay, I'll just go. Uh, I got a couple. Yeah. I'll just go two For in a sure. row. Two in a row right here. Okay, here we go. All right, sleepers. A couple rookies coming at you. Uh, this is be more based on if the other guys that they're running with goes down. I mean, okay, so I'll, I'll just give them to you. DeAndre Swift, I love this kid. I think that this jersey, yeah. Detroit, the, the, the jersey sales in Detroit are going to spike after this year with this kid. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's the real deal. And if Johnson goes down, and he has a history of going down, you know, getting hurt, it's even better. It's even better. I like this kid a lot. Um, yes, sir. I think we'll both own one of these jerseys one day. Oh, dude, that's I my hope, next one. I, hope that, so. I want him and Aquara, Julian. And, yeah. I, uh, so that's that's my number one sleeper right there. And nice, I, nice. Not a big OSU fan, but J.K. Dobbins, yeah. uh, Ingram goes down. This kid, you know, he can he can do it all. I think. And yeah. He's a workhorse at OSU. And Baltimore has got a got a pretty good team. Yeah. 
and I think this kid, uh, this kid's going to be be special one year or one day, or yeah. maybe this year. For sure. But if Ingram goes down, this is the guy. So those are my two sleepers. I got Swift and Dobbins. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, my guys are going to be, man, I'll, I'll do two as well. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, man, I love this kid. Um, workhorse, workhorse in college. Um, he joins a great group in Indy, man. One of the best old lines in the business there. Uh, strong old line play, man. Super, super strong in the passing game and in, in, in the run blocking schemes. Those guys can do it all, man. They got some really good old linemen over there. Quentin Nelson leads that old line, and he's the man. Um, but he should be the he should get the bulk of the carries in Indy. Um, Marlon Mack's still there, but I think he's more of a third down guy. Jonathan Taylor is a big kid, shifty, runs hard. So I'm expecting about 1,100 yards and probably 10 touchdowns, maybe 25 catches. He's not going to kill you. He's not going to be great in PPR, man, but he's going to get the bulk of the carries. So he'll still get over 25 catches i'm saying i'm just my personal opinion maybe 150 200 yards receiving and maybe two or three touchdowns through the air but he's just, he's going to be the guy and i'm picking him as one of my sleepers because of that old line especially and then my second guy is going to be devin singletary oh. um oh yeah buffalo. he should become the lead back in buffalo and frank Gore left for his uh 70th team now i think he plays yeah. i think he plays for the jets now yeah bro yeah he played for pre pretty much every team plays for everybody I, I, yeah, I think it's detroit though i think not detroit yeah, but his next stop next might year. be cfl yeah, yeah. it yeah. could be man i think that guy's literally trying to hit uh every single nfl team yeah by the way but I'm i love that i love devlin singletary man um a very sneaky runner catches the ball well they did draft zach moss though um but he's a rook so, I, but I, I expect Devin Singletary to lead that backfield, and um, but Moss could push for time. So, it should be a good. So, I expect about a thousand yards, maybe nine hundred fifty to thousand yards for Devin. Seven to eight touchdowns on the ground, may, maybe thirty to forty catches, and like three hundred yards and a couple scores. So, those are our our sleepers. Those are our six to ten. You know, hold it up, buddy. I'm going deep. Do what you got to do. He's going deep, man. He's going deep. Let's see if I can hit him. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> that's a score, that's a score, see you guys on the flip side, <laughs> <See you guys. laughs>